Hello, I'm Leonie Watson. I'm a member of the W3C Advisory Board and a co-chair of the Web Platform Working Group at the W3C. Earlier this year, I created the W3C Women Community Group. It was intended as a place for people who identify as women and who are participating at the W3C to come together and share their ideas and experiences. We didn't have a mission statement at first, but like all community groups at the W3C, we did have an email address. And so we began sharing some thoughts and possibilities about what our community group could try to accomplish. We decided that meeting in person would be a good way to do this. So at TPAC week, we met for the first time as a group in person. And we had a wonderful conversation. We had people come in who identify as women, as men, members of the trans and non-binary community joined us and many others as well. And it was a terrific conversation. And we came away with some really clear ideas about our mission statement. Firstly, we're going to rebrand the community group. We're going to rename it the W3C Inclusion Community Group because we want to widen its scope to include everyone at the W3C who champions diversity in all its forms. And the best way we can do that is by seeking input and involvement from as many different people with as many different perspectives as possible. We want to reach out to other organizations in the technology space that include people from different groups, Girls Who Code, for example, or the Grace Hopper Conference. And we want to see if there are ways we can help them understand about the W3C, what it means to be involved, and what it means to be involved if you happen to come from a diversity group or an underrepresented group. We also want to look at some of the serious problems around diversity. How well is the W3C doing in terms of diversity at the moment? What can we do to improve it? How can we look at some of these serious challenges and make the W3C as inclusive as it possibly can be? We're also going to work with the Positive Environment Working Group and look at ways we can ensure that women and members of different communities have safe spaces to go if they have problems or concerns and to ensure that those problems and concerns are dealt with safely, securely and properly in every respect so that people at all times feel safely able to contribute at the W3C. Lastly, we have lots more ideas and most importantly, a long conversation ahead of us and plenty of work to do. We're really looking forward to it. Thank you.